Six at K N E B in time for today's News Extra program. Here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis, and good morning, everyone. We're going to talk about the uh, K N E B Spring Show today, and Kendra Feather is here, sales manager for uh, K N E B Radio. And good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? I'm good. Good. All right. So uh, tell everybody about uh, the K N E B Spring Show. It's coming up uh, next month. Yeah, for experts about, uh, now, it's our second annual spring that's show. That's right. Well, I don't know whether we're experts, <laughs> yeah. but, but we're close to experts. Right. We uh, partner with the Scotts Wolf Ag Society, and we got together last year because there was a need for a spring show to take place. The person that had hosted it before is just overwhelmed with business and couldn't do that anymore. So Alana was good enough to partner with us, and we had a really good show last year, and we're planning on a even better show this year. We've got some exciting giveaways. We've got... Cabela's coming. They're going to bring some boats. So for fans of those boats that like to, to see them, we'll have those there. We will be giving away a $1,000 mattress each day from Waterbed Showcase. Um, we've got great food vendors. We will have a, a pancake feed on Saturday morning from 7 to 9. It'll be a free will pan, pancake feed. We better feed. say the dates. We haven't said the dates. Oh, yet. March 23rd from okay. 12 to 6. There you and go. March 24th from 8 to 3. All right. But the and pancake Friday feed. Friday and Saturday. Right. right. The pancake feed will start at 7 on Saturday. The it's 24th. A, yep. It'll be a free will donation because the FFA kids are helping us out, so we would like to, to help the club out some there. All right. And uh, once, once again, the hours are 12 to 6 and 8 to 3 on uh, Friday the 23rd, Saturday the 24th. And uh, you mentioned uh, you got Cabela's coming. Uh, some of the other folks uh, were just kind of lining up uh, quite a few people right now. Right? Yeah, we've had a lot of people tell us yes. We always just are waiting for their paperwork to come in because some of them are coming from our farm show. will cross over to this show, too, because it's both audiences, you know, that they like to help. So if you need some home improvements for your house, if you, you know, need some things. Some people have home-based businesses, and maybe you didn't realize they had jewelry or different things for sale. We'll have some of the nonprofit businesses there. They will be there. Um, we'll have things set up for kids to do. We'll have a jumping. I don't know what I would want to call it. Jump. All that uh, jumping tent or yeah, whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, they'll have yeah. the jumping thing there for the kids. We'll also have the 4-H shooting booth there again. And if you're interested in signing up for 4-H, the 4-H people will be there to talk to you. Um, the Farm and Ranch Museum will be there. Festival of Hope will be selling tickets for the Sammy Kershaw concert. So there'll be lots of activity. It's something that the whole family can come to because if you want to throw the kids in the jumping in the jumping booth and then come and look at the different things, that's kind of a good thing to do. We'll have some great food, too. Remember the, the deep fat fried Oreos? They're pretty good. I yeah. think that you ate all of Rob's is no, what I remember I didn't what happened. No, I all of Rob's. Yeah, Rob said, let me see, Rob he got six had... and you got five of them, so I would think that's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> but he's Maybe. coming back. So Nebraska Twisters will be there. We'll have his twisters. He's going to have some great food products for us. And if you didn't get to try the deep fat fried Oreos yeah, you probably or better Snickers, try pretty them. good. So. I didn't try the Snickers. I and he told me, too, Oreos. deep fat fried Pop-Tart, which I didn't get to try, so... You gotta try that too. So um, we're gonna have just a lot of fun, and we're gonna have what is the most exciting thing at KNEB right now that we do? Right. Oh, we're gonna spin the wheel. We are gonna spin the wheel so you can win some more great prizes. So if you haven't seen the wheel, it will be making an appearance at the spring show, and you can win some prize. Some prizes are worth twenty-five dollars, and we might even have some a few more surprises to throw on the wheel for this event. Toughest thing about spinning the wheel was being the bad guy to tell people that we're cutting it off after. Yeah, nobody wants to play security. A certain amount of time. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, we may have to figure out a different way to do that yeah. at this particular event. But do come up and see us because we'll be spinning each hour again for the wheel and we'll have some, some good prizes, lots of registrations, some sampling from Johnson Cashway with their Traeger Grills will be there. Um, we also will have Ackermans from Alliance. They'll be having pulled pork sandwiches and pulled pork loaded baked potatoes, so something new too. All right, so once again, uh, put it on your calendar, March 23rd and 24th, and if you want to be in the spring show... Uh, you need to give us a call. Yeah, call me at 632-7121, or if you can't do that, just email me at kfeather at knev.com. It's pretty easy email. Yep, and we still have some room in the booths. The, these booths are a lot bigger than the farm show because some of them put up, you know, beautiful displays, and they take up some room. So we'll have, you know, it's really fun to walk through the whole thing because it's such a variety. That's why we called it a spring show because we wanted people to have a good variety of things to bring. It's just everything spring, anything you can think about, so... Come up and see us. We'll be well, up you there. You know what I think about during the spring? Golf. Yeah. That's we had right. a golf. We had a golf booth last year. We had a golf year. booth last year. I was going to ask. Yeah, because Best Love Country Club was there okay, last year. Okay. I was going to ask if Chris was going to be there. I thought you bought a. I thought you bought a 
Didn't you buy a vest or a shirt or something? I bought something. Yeah. Through Chris. You, you know. just can't remember. Yeah. So, okay. So anyway, so uh, so it'll be fun. And uh, March 23rd and 24th, uh, put it on your calendar again and uh, give Kendra a call if you want to be Yeah, and look at our website. We'll have more details each day with um, with our people that will be at the show. We'll, they will be updating that daily. So look at our website, kdb.com, and look for the spring show information. And, you know, we'll have some excitement. And bring the family out if you got the cabin fever. We'd love to see you up there. And Dennis will also be broadcasting the first Lawn and Garden show with Jim Shield up there, too, interviewing the people that are there. And it'll be a nice Lawn and Garden show kickoff. Yeah, that's about the time you got to start getting out there, about the 23rd and 24th. Right, this moisture. I know the wind's around, but the snow's been good for the moisture in the ground, so yep, that's great. Yep, All right, so the wind, we'll have Denny talk just briefly okay. here about the wind situation. Uh, what do we have for uh, uh, advisories and so forth on the wind today? Well, we have a high wind warning. It'll kick in at 9, so, uh, of course, that's a little bit arbitrary, but, yeah, we expect a very windy day. It'll be more so to the west of us. There's a lot of issues on I-80 and I-25 with blowover risk on high-profile and lightweight vehicles, but uh, we're going to look at probably some gusts to 60 in our area, so it's going to be very strong. All right, so uh, you got to be very careful, especially if uh, especially, especially if you're one of those uh, vehicles that could tip over and so forth. I mean, we had one happen. It happened last time. We had one of these mm -hmm. big high-wind advisories, and so uh, you might have to take an alternate route, especially if you're traveling an area where there's uh, not much cover and the wind could and we're gonna blow your vehicle. We're going to add a little preset to it tonight, which will make it interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then uh, perhaps again over the weekend. We're going to kind of keep an eye on that. That's not firm enough entirely. Well, I noticed Polar Plunge on Saturday. You're going to keep the temperatures a little higher than... Uh, actually, yeah, not too bad. 45, 55. See, I could... See, it might, it might not be so bad. I've been looking at that all week. Because <laughs> so, I'm doing it. Suit up. <laughs> so I'm doing it. Saw the sheriff last night, and he was going, you ready to go? And I go, eh, as ready as I'll ever yeah, be. Yeah, he talked so. my husband into doing it, too. Yeah. So. All right. So yep. we're going to get out there and get her done on Saturday. Okay. All right. Good luck. All right. Thanks. You bet.